And one of the great gifts of childhood, adolescence, and young adulthood is that we can learn through almost passive experience. We experience something once, and then our nervous system is forever changed by that experience. Now, of course, certain events happen during that birth to 25 period in which positive events and negative events are really stamped down into our nervous system in a very dramatic fashion by what we call one trial learning. We experience something once and then our nervous system is forever changed by that experience. Unless, of course, we go through some work to undo that experience. So I want you to imagine in your mind that when you were brought into this world, you were essentially a widely connected web of connections that was really poor at doing any one thing. And that through your experience, what you were exposed to by your parents or other caretakers, through your social interactions, through your thoughts, through the languages that you learned, through the places you traveled or didn't travel, your nervous system became customized to your unique experience. Now, that's true for certain parts of your brain that are involved in what we call representations of the outside world. A lot of your brain is designed to represent the visual world or represent the auditory world or represent the gallery of smells that are possible in the world. However, there are aspects of your nervous system that were designed not to be plastic. They were wired so that plasticity or changes in those circuits is very unlikely. Those circuits include things like the ones that control your heartbeat, the ones that control your breathing, the ones that control your digestion. And thank goodness that those circuits were set up that way because you want those circuits to be extremely reliable. You never want to have to think about whether or not your heart will beat or whether or not you will continue breathing or whether or not you'll be able to digest your food. So many nervous system features like digestion and breathing and heart rate are hard to change. Other aspects of our nervous system are actually quite easy to change. And one of the great gifts of childhood, adolescence, and young adulthood is that we can learn through almost passive experience. We don't have to focus that hard in order to learn new things. In fact, children go from being able to speak no language whatsoever to being able to speak many, many words and comprise sentences, including words they've never heard before, which is remarkable. It means that the portions of the brain involved in speech and language are actually primed to learn and create new combinations. What this tells us is that the young brain is a plasticity machine. But then right about age 25, plus or minus a year or two, everything changes. After age 25 or so, in order to get changes in our nervous system, we have to engage in a completely different set of processes in order to get those changes to occur and for them, more importantly, to stick around. And this is something that I think is vastly overlooked in the popular culture discussion about neuroplasticity. People always talk about fire together, wire together. Fire together, wire together is true. It is the statement of my colleague at Stanford, Carla Schatz. And it's an absolute truth about the way that the nervous system wires up early in development. But fire together, wire together doesn't apply in the same way after age 25. And so we have these little memes and these little uh, quotes that, you know, circulate on the internet like fire together, wire together, or there's a famous quote from the uh, the greatest neurobiologist of all time, Ramoni Cajal. I think it goes something like, you know, should somebody wish to change their nervous system, they could be the uh, sculptor of their nervous system in any way they want, something like that. And that sounds great. I mean, who wouldn't want to change their nervous system any way they want? But what's lost in those statements is how to actually accomplish that. But please understand that early in development, your nervous system is connected very broadly in ways that make it very hard to do anything well. From birth until about age 25, those connections get refined, mainly through the removal of connections that don't serve us and the incredible strengthening of connections that relate to either powerful experiences or that allow us to do things like walk and talk and do math, etc. And then after age 25, if we want to change those connections, those super highways of connectivity, we have to engage in some very specific processes And those processes, as we'll soon learn, are gated, meaning you can't just decide to change your brain. You actually have to go through a series of steps to change your internal state in ways that will allow you to change your brain.